What's going on guys? GS not right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about this um, yellow for iOS 10.3.3 so-called jailbreak that is lurking around the internet lately. And um, uh, I'm going to review it and uh, tell you exactly whether it's uh, fake or not. Spoiler alert, it is. And um, I want to thank you for sending me this link in the first place because um, apparently this is something very popular lately and people seem to be falling for it ever since the official Yalu website has gone down. So let's take a look on it. So we have in here Yalu. It says in here yalujailbreak.com. Apparently it's using um, a secure connection with SSL protocol. So everything is good and nice. You can see a couple of advertisements in here and these are going to be very useful for us later in this investigation. So uh, as I said right from the start, this website is completely bullshit, it's completely fake. This jailbreak in here, the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak that you download, is basically an IPA that you get from here, I am Yalu 103 IPA for free, uh, and it is basically free, it's no, um, it's no survey, no application to install, you know, other application. Uh, but we're going to get into that. Then you need to download CD Impactor and it provides good instructions in here. So that you can see it says Yalu by QWERTY WRIAPS and Marco Grassi, Yalu 103 for all iOS 10.3 to 10.3.3 betas. All right, everything good and great. And then it says status of the jailbreak, release date and its jailbreak and so on. And in, in a corner in, in here, you have the problems and so on. But if you navigate to the main uh, part of the website in here to the uh, root, uh, you get, of course, um, a lot of advertisements. But it says in here, all credit goes to Luca Tedesco for this iOS 10 jailbreak. Thank you very much, Luca, for this jailbreak. So basically, it's assigning it to Luca. And of course, it's using uh, Luca's Yalu name. Uh, in order to make it, of course, more um, more convenient for people to believe it. So let's get into that. Right, so if you search for it on Google, uh, I'm going to search for Yalu, you can see that uh, it's between the first results in here. YaluJailbreak.com is basically the third result. So um, it's pretty uh, pretty high in search, which means a lot of people would, uh, you know, go ahead and search for Yalu and get directly to this website, which is fake. Let's analyze a little bit the IPA to tell you exactly why it is fake, right? This is what you download, and I have already extracted uh, the IPA for, you know, making this video a little bit shorter. And inside it, if you navigate in here, you have the official um, application icon of the Yalu jailbreak, apparently. It lacks any sort of uh, bootstrap.tar, which is basically containing all the files, including libraries, Cydia, and so on, and binaries like, um, I don't know, like Antar, like, um, anyways, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, binaries in there. It's completely missing, and we do have a couple things in here, so let's get into them. We have the uh, executable file, we're going to down download it here to the screen. And then uh, we have the icons, some frameworks, which are uh, for Swift, which pretty much hints to the fact that it's been written in Swift, uh, a thing that it's not possible for a real Yalu jailbreak, because Yalu has been written in uh, Objective-C, uh, the original Yalu 102. Then um, the code signature is pretty much okay. You have an embedded mobile profile. That, that's pretty much uh, something that every application has. We're interested into the actual uh, binary in here to see exactly what it does. So I'm going to fire up um, Hopper Disassembler and load it in here. You can notice that it's a fat archive, which means it has support for both ARM v7 and R64. I'm going to select the ARM64 in here for convenience, and um, yeah, Mac OR64, and click OK. Now it's going to disassemble it and uh, give you the, um, the assembly output, and you can see in here it's not a big application. In fact, most of these things are linked to different, you know, functions and so on that are basically created by um, by the application itself, no, they're not coded by the programmer, so that, that's not really much to it, that's just basically the view the load part in here, which contains some, um, some button showing some link. I have this link in here, that is being shown to you in a uh, an alert view. So I'm going to show you exactly what it does on my mobile. So that that's not pretty much uh, what you what you should see in here. You you have only this link, and it brings you some sort of uh, uh, notification telling you, uh, you know, you should download something for from whatever website in there. So I'm going to show you exactly what it does. But 
as you can see in a disassembler you don't really have any exploit to disassemble or anything you know injecting anything to the device and stuff like this just an alert view that is poorly uh, configured and some um, constraints that's pretty much what it consists in so why I think this is a uh, blatant lie and why I think this is actually more to it. Well, let me show you. Okay, so we have a couple advertisements in here and I told you that these ads will, would uh, would come up very important in uh, in this investigation. And let me show you why. We're going to go ahead and see the page search of this, uh, of this thing in here. And we're going to locate the CA pub number, which is basically the advertisement number and uh, this is basically unique for each account. Let me explain you how the uh, Google Ads work because all these ads are from uh, Google AdSense. AdSense only allows you to have one account at a time. If you have more than one account on the same credit card or the same address, it's going to ban you from AdSense. So you should only have one account at a time. This means that they cannot create multiple accounts for multiple websites. They're forced to use the same one across all their scams. So. We can actually see uh, the uh, you know the unique ID number of that publisher who publishes ads on his website by locating it in here. We're going to search for CA, and you can see we have the uh, the Google Ad page in here, Ads by Google, and we can locate this number. And we're not going to copy the CA; we're going to copy it from Pub to uh, to this point on. We're going to go here to spyonweb.com. And we're going to paste the pub number, we're going to click go, and as you can see, we can easily find the fact that the same advertisement account is being used on english.pangu.com, which is not the official Pangu website, it's basically a clone, the same thing that happens with this yellow jailbreak in here. Then on ionic.com, and this is basically a website with the Twitter handle of uh, Stefan Ezer, a known security researcher and a past jailbreaker, and Ionic or Stefan Ezer has also stated in the past and I think even um, even a couple of days ago about this website not being his website it's just being a ripoff saying that they provide a jailbreak which is actually fake and then taiji9.com which is again completely fake it's not the official taiji website so um, you can see we have four different websites containing the same advertisement ID which means all four websites are owned by the same dude or the same group of dudes. So we have these uh, websites in here claiming to be Pangu, Ionic and Taiji and here we have Yalu. So uh, you can see it's pretty much a larger network in here uh, making fake websites for jailbreaking and for of course the uh, the whole point in here is to trick people into downloading this stuff making it you know more obvious that it's you know, something like real or stuff in order to um, to draw attention to these ads in here. Now, I'm down for ads. Okay, you can have ads on your website. I do have ads on my website because, you know, that hosting costs money, that domain costs money. But if you want to, to put ads on your website, put ads on some content that you fucking create. Do not put ads on something that you're copying from, you know, other security researcher and it's completely bullshit and... Uh, as you can see here, even the Apple ID username is QWERTY Woody App in here, and it says QWERTY Woody App's iPhone, which is in fact completely bullshit. <laughs> it has nothing to do with QWERTY Woody App, which is look at Desco's um, iPhone. You can just name your phone, you know, QWERTY Woody App, and uh, you know make it look like it's uh, it's an instruction from Look at Desco, which is in fact not. And you can see. They're actually showing two different screenshots in here, one for Yalu 102, which is the real deal, and Mac Portal, which is again the real deal, but not their completely crap thing. And let me show you why they, they do not show you that. Let me show you what happens when you actually install this on your device. I'm going to, of course, use a test device because I don't want to do my own device. All right, so uh, I'm sorry this video is getting a little bit longer. I didn't plan to actually make a video about a fake jailbreak to be that long, but I really wanted to explain actually what's going on to you in here. So when you install it, it shows Yalu 103 with the official logo, so it's pretty convincing. If you open it, um, it's showing this. It says Yalu by QWERTY Woody Ops and Marco Grassi for all iOS 10.3 to 10.3.3 betas. But when you press that purple button in here, Yalu 103, it just shows up, as I said, a uh, link 
that's what we seen in uh, we have seen in um, Hoppa Disassembler, and it says this is a Yalu 103 demo. Please wait for the official release. So it's basically a complete scam. The application does only that. It's not even properly made, as you can see from here. It does have auto rotation though. It's configured to to rotate properly, which is something pretty strange from these fakers. I really uh, I'm really astonished that they do know how to use the constraints in an application. Anyways, that's not important. What is important is that you you're simply you know get fooled into downloading this thing it turns out to be just something that tells you to wait for a real release thank you I didn't know about it definitely not but you by by that time you have already made him some sense by viewing his ads and uh, you know clicking stuff in there and so on so pay attention to this fake jailbreaks uh, I'm really sorry for you know making these videos but I really want to raise the awareness because you can see it's a large network they are providing fake jailbreaks and they're making you to sometime even pay via surveys and so on for this fake bullshit which is complete crap so just pay attention wait for real sources to confirm a real jailbreak and do not forget um, Subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow. Tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about these fake jailbreaks and peace out.